BoxingScene.com with boxing historian and author Bert Sugar. Bert, share with us your feeling being able to be in attendance for the unveiling of the Ray Robinson stamp. I was excited to be a part of it. And the reason very simply stated is it's only the second stamp issued in the image of a boxer, Joe Lewis being the first. And Sugar Ray Robinson deserves it. He is and was a magnificent fighter. And in my book, Boxing's Greatest Fighters, he is number one as the all-time greatest pound per pound. He was the sweetest practitioner of the sweet science. Just one little punchline. When I told Carmen Basilio that he was coming down to be part of it with us, and that it was a stamp that was being issued by Sugar Ray Robinson, whom he had fought twice and beaten once, Carmen's response was, now everybody can lick Sugar Ray Robinson. But it's more than that. It's an honor. Thank you. Do, do you hope that this opens doors and bestows the honor on other great fighters of our era? I don't know of our era. There's one minor problem. You have to be dead 20 years, and I don't wish that on anyone. However, I think that it does reflect boxing, and yes, down the road, and I may not be able to see it, there will be more and more and more, and that's the excitement. I figure, hell, if they can put Elvis Presley on a stamp, they can put boxers on a stamp. Right. So, let's talk about the heavyweight division today. Not much to talk about. None. If the four heavyweight champions went into a ring, in their gloves, robes, trunks, carrying their belts, not only would no one know who they are, they wouldn't know what the hell these guys did for a living, they're so anonymous. I've got two of them from Russia, or Kazakhstan, or Stan Musial, or Stan Getz, or Stan and Ali, I don't know who they are. And there's a chance that we may have all four of the Alphabet Soup champions from Eastern Europe, because Vladimir Klitschko, who has beaten Chris Bird, is fighting him for the title. And Oleg Moskayev, who's beaten Hasim Rachman already, is fighting him for the title. Isn't this exciting? That's going to capture the imagination of the American people. Not much to talk about in the heavyweight division. Let's take it down a few notches. Tomorrow, Saturday, Floyd Mayweather takes on Zab Judah. Give us your thoughts on that fight. I think it's a better fight than a lot of people expect it to be. Zab has a style that could give Floyd a lot of problems. He's almost as fast a hand and far faster a foot and uses his feet better. He might be out there dissecting, bisecting, and triangulating the ring. And also, he is embarrassed by his loss to Carlos Valdemir. Pernell Whitaker told me he fought the fans' fight. Now he's isolated himself, secluded himself to prepare for this. And remember what happened the last time he lost a fight. He came back against Corey Spinks to redeem himself. Can he redeem himself again? Uphill. But he can still give a great accounting from, of himself because one of Mayweather's stocks in trade, and he has a radar-like instinct for evading punches, is bending to his right to, in order to counter with the right hand. That goes right into Zab Judah's left hand because he's a southpaw. He's got a good chance tomorrow night, and I look forward to a hell of a fight. Bert, how long have you been a boxing fan, and how do you recall getting into it? Uh, I've been a boxing fan all my life. I mean, as long as I can remember it. I fell in love with the Gillette Cavalcade of Sports on television and radio way back in the 40s. I boxed in college. Um, I was an amateur. I'm not here to tell you I was any good. I was known as the Great White Hopeless. But I've loved it, and it's been good to me, and it's a sport. I not only am one of the biggest advocates of, but I'm not an apologist for, but I think that this is one of the greatest sport in the world. So is there anything you want to say to your fans and the viewers all around the world on BoxingScene.com? I hope you enjoy boxing half as much as I do, because it's one heck of a sport. And it, yes, it has its flaws, it has its problems, but somehow, someway, somewhere, it always survives. And all we need is one great fighter and one charismatic fighter. And it will be, again, one of the great sports ahead of all those, like NASCAR, and I don't understand that, that's people turning left all their lives, that have passed it. Boxing is there, it has been there, it will be there, and it's a great sport. Thank you. Hey, thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Thank you.